the market with a difference. Its sole aim is to provide the cheapest price to its customers. Profit not in the equation, with most of us paying more for our weekly shop as each week ticks by. At this supermarket, you can get all you can eat, a full trolley load, for no more than $20. Damien Hansen reports. Is this Australia's cheapest grocery store? $20 for a trolley of food you'd pay hundreds for at the supermarket. Instead of spending, you know, $200 on groceries, you know, I was able to cut it down to like, you know, $100. $100. Hassle free, you just come and go and that's it. Meat, bread, fruit and veggies, all at a price you simply won't find anywhere else. We're famous for our $20 trolley and it's filled with uh, fresh fruit and vegetables. Just depending on whatever we can get and every week we do the very best for the $20 that we can. We've got some mushrooms here, we've got some uh, mixed vegetables. I mean this particular one here of course we've got a cauliflower, uh, more mushrooms, tomatoes, carrots, beans, all good healthy food. And this is all good to go, nothing wrong with that, eh? Yeah, it's all good to go. It looks like any grocery store in suburban Australia, but here it's not cash that's king, it's compassion. And no one is turned away. It just helps enormously. Well, it saves us a lot of money, and when you're paying $300 a week in rent, it really helps out. There are thousands of families in our community that are really struggling to make ends meet. All sorts of different reasons. They might have lost their job, um, they might have um, come into sickness or all sorts of different stories. Debbie Hill has listened to their stories and along with her husband Ron has set up a supermarket with a difference. We've frozen it, ready to be collected by the charity. John Rusk is from Woolworths. Plenty of use by date on it perfect for the charity. Debbie and her team collect groceries once destined for landfill. I thought Excuse Woolworths... me, out of my way. One broken egg, so they've thrown out the whole box. And we've exposed the supermarket giants absurd levels of waste. What's wrong with these apples? Absolutely nothing. Billions of dollars worth of food left to rot. Now, thanks to legislative changes, unsold produce can now be donated to charities. If you're a millionaire, then please use the big supermarkets. But if you're really struggling on a day-to-day -day basis, there is help and there is support available. It helps me because there's a lot of fresh fruit and vegetables. Um, I never feel bad coming here to, to buy the trolley. And Hare and her family are doing it tough. She can shop at the Lighthouse Calvary Care Warehouse to feed her family without the usual expense. The comparison, I suppose, would probably save me at least $150 a fortnight because I come fortnightly, which is just amazing when you think about it. You can not cut down on your rent and you cannot cut down on your mortgage. You can't cut down on electricity or petrol prices. And food is the only thing in people's budgets that they can cut down on. Today it's a pick up from Woolworths. Tomorrow it'll be in the cupboards of those most in need. Being young and myself at the moment not working, it's hard to be able to afford to get groceries and do that sort of stuff. So now you've got a bit of money to spend on other things or bills or whatever you need to spend it on. Jessica Rattle is another who relies on Debbie's waste not, want not approach. The price, pretty much, the price is just, it's worth it what you get. You know, a big tray of vegetables, when you want to feed your kids, you don't want to be feeding them snacks and noodles all the time. You can, you can feed them vegetables and feed them foods which are going to be beneficial to them. We always just say, we're not charity, we're just families helping families and it's cool just to throw our arms around people and offer hope. Damien Hansen reporting and the supermarket is now looking to expand up and down the east coast. We'll be back with more after the break on Today Tonight.